Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, uh, we're going to do a little discussion today. Um, this is kind of a sad and exciting day for me. Um, you know, it's been a couple years since I started this channel. And, uh, you know, when I started doing this, you know, I started this with my dual sport, my Honda CRF 250L and, uh, you know, kind of worked my way into the four wheeler and then here recently with the Jeep. And, uh, but today it's, it's kind of one of those days that, uh, it's, it's time to retire the 250L. Um, you know, as you can see, I got it, I got it parked up over here and, uh, I think it's time to to sell the bike and and move on to uh bigger and better things and uh when I say bigger and better I do mean bigger and better. Uh I've been kind of in the market looking you know getting something different and uh you know Honda has the NC700X and I, I really liked the, the look of the bike and but I just didn't know if it would have enough power so this year they came out with the NC 750X and I was really hoping to try one out see what I thought of it and possibly purchase that um, so I happened to go to the dealership yesterday and uh, I figured that I would set on a NC 700 and see how it fit for me and the wife and and see if it worked for us and you know because I knew that that platform was going to be the same as the 750 the only thing that was going to be different was they had like a four millimeter bigger bore to punch it out to like a 75 cc's more so yeah I figured it'd be a good basis to see until they got the 750s in and you know lo and behold I walked through the door and uh they've got this the almighty Africa twin and this probably was my dream bike but you know it was a little higher than what I wanted to pay for it and uh, but when I walked in there they had a price on this thing that I couldn't pass up um, so I jumped on the deal you know and it's a brand new 017 and uh, I tell you what this thing is a beast. I mean, especially coming from, you know, the 250L. You can kind of see it's kind of dirty. I had to go play with it this morning. And so took it off-road a little bit. And uh, this thing's just nuts. I mean, it has just got so much power and so much torque. You know, it. Uh, this thing will outrun my 250L in second gear. I mean, it just, it's just crazy. Uh, these things are really nice. You know, it's, it's got the LED headlights and, you know, the little windscreen. It's, it's just awesome. I've never owned a motorcycle that had a fairing and a windshield. And holy crap, does that make a difference. I mean, it was actually pleasurable running down the highway at 70 miles an hour without the wind trying to shove you off the bike. Um, but this thing is great, guys. My wife loves it because, you know, the 250L, it's a great bike. Don't get me wrong, guys. It has got its purpose. I love that bike. Um, I wish I could keep it. Um, but that's just another thing to keep here in the shop and pay insurance on and pay for tags and taxes and, you know, and I probably wouldn't be riding it much. So, you know, I made the decision to, to go ahead and sell it, but this 250, I mean, this Africa twin, man, it's got so much more room for riding two up. The dash is just crazy on this thing. Um, we'll turn it on here and you can see, I hope this will come out, but man, it's got a built-in tack, speedometer, tells you what gear you're in. Uh, it's even got a th temperature gauge tells your miles per gallon that you're getting it's got traction control it's got abs um <clears throat> you know you're probably all wondering it's like man that's a huge bike to take off road but i tell you what with traction control i pulled out off the farm yesterday onto the gravel and i didn't really even give it a lot of gas 
and the minute the back tire starts slipping the traction control takes over and it starts limiting how much throttle you can give it and then i was like wow that's kind of cool so what do you do you give it more gas and it just keeps you know limiting itself on the power so it's just great um now a lot of you are probably thinking well that's not going to be any fun well it is because you can shut it off there's three stages of traction control so you can pick whatever suits your needs and if you don't like it you just shut it off you know and then you're back to normal but it's got abs which is really great for a bike anymore especially in the, in the rain so anyway i'm really looking forward to starting a new chapter in this youtube channel you know with the africa twin and uh you know i'm i'm hoping you guys will come along with the journey with me and and we'll see what we can do um here in the future we're going to do another review though on the jeep i went out and bought a new top for it and i'll give you kind of a little sneak peek of what it looks like but i bought a best top nx and there it is it is one of their bowless tops to where you don't have the framework anymore so when you take the sides and the back off you got a bikini top and and then uh, the top part will flip over pretty cool so we'll get that in another day but uh so anyway guys this was just a sneak peek of what's to come so uh hope you enjoyed it if you like it give me the big old thumbs up and subscribe you guys have a blessed day